אשר אליך עשם. Jersey. This is real New Jersey on the Let's Go Devils Podcast Network. All powered by Nova Product Design from Primetime Radio and now simulcasting on the Primetime Radio Network. I am your host, Sam Wu. Today's episode three is titled How to Make Your Favorite Team Mask. Well, right now, uh, as we speak, as we are doing this live podcast, uh, the CDC is about to renew or redo their guidelines, uh, asking people to wear scarves or a mask uh, out as we are currently dealing with the COVID-19 uh, uh, pandemic. So I thought to myself, you know, you, you look at these N95 masks. I have one sample here. You, know, you walk out in public with it. As you see me on the Facebook live feed, YouTube, Twitter, Periscope, and Twitch, you know, it looks um, looks like a, a kind of bland, a little depressing because now everybody's now wearing these out in public. Uh, these N95 masks or medical masks or, or whatnot. And I thought I got this idea, and I, and I got to give credit to where credit's due. Uh, I saw it on the Seven Line Army of uh, New York Mets fans uh, Facebook page. Darren, the co founder or founder of the Seven Line, did something where he took a regular ball cap and turned it into uh, a mask. Now, I'm. I decided to say, all right, well, I have a lot of hats. Which one am I going to sacrifice to make, you know, in case I don't have one of these N95 masks, but, you know, what can I do uh, to do my part uh, of helping stopping this pandemic? And I figured, you know what? How do you support your favorite team by wearing the mask? I mean, you know, I also got that idea from, a little bit of an idea from fanatics who suspended making major league baseball jerseys asked major league baseball hey can we use the fabric for these jerseys we're making make some gowns and mask and uh, major league baseball gave it the okay so i figured i'd take this um devil's hat a giveaway the prudential center by msg plus you know msg they have Ken Danico, Steve Cangelosi as a broadcast team with Bryce Salvador and Erica Wachter. Um, so I'm taking this MSG Plus giveaway hat, this New Jersey Devils hat at the Prudential Center, and I'm going to attempt, and I haven't even practiced this yet, so I'm doing this live, to make a mask out of this hat in case I don't have an N95 mask over my face, but also it can be kind of stylish and put it over this N95 mask where, you know, you can possibly get more life out of this. Again, I'm not a professional. If you want to really follow the rules and CDC guidelines, go to cdc.gov. I think that's the website with the CDC's website uh, for more information about your safety and protection. But I figured we'll have a little fun with it and try to transform this MSG Plus giveaway that was once that New Jersey Devils game, and let's sacrifice this hat and make it a mask. So you're going to need a couple things. A, you're going to need your favorite team's hat. Okay, that's what I'm doing. You're also going to need shoelaces. 
So I got this off of uh, one of my old ice hockey skates that uh, I haven't even used in so many years. And, you know, a little disgusting, but uh, I hadn't looked at these skates in 10 years, and uh, I think a squirrel's nest uh, was built in it. But nevertheless, I got the, the skate lace out of it. You're also going to need a scissor. I got a scissor right here. You're also going to need maybe a pen or something of that nature. And um, this is optional, maybe either pliers or, you know, adjustable wrench, whatever. So we're going to try to make this a mask like this. And those that are listening in on the podcast on demand on iTunes, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and all the places you get your um, podcasts on the Let's Go Devils podcast platform. Uh, you can also tune in on Facebook, Facebook at Let's Go Devils Podcast, on Twitter, Periscope at Let's Go Devils Pod, YouTube channel let's go devils and let's go devils podcast on twitch so i also got a secondary camera so you can also take a look why don't i go to that feed right now you see that all right so let's go back uh just kind of messed up that uh give me one second and i will be back yep here we go so I got a second camera so you can get a better angle. So right now, this is what I'm going to do. You see the back of the hat right here? Yep. I'm going to actually start probably cutting this top part. You see this triangle right here? I'll stand up. I'm going to try to cut this part and follow the lines out. So I'm going to use a, a scissor. I'm going to use a scissor and do that. And I'm going to just start around here. Now, it's a little traumatizing because I've never cut a hat before like this. But it's always the first time for everything. So let's cut the hat. I'm going to start right, get the camera right here and start cutting. Start cutting, 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 cutting. So maybe I'll start right here start from the inside all right now i've got the first cut in now let's just start cutting so let's start cutting this out let's see here hmm i don't remember how i did in the video but let's Ooh, see i just cut it right there on the edge there Near the rim of the hat. And I'm just going to start cutting, 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 cutting till it's done. So start cutting on the edge right there. So here, I just started. So let's let me put it on camera. You see how I'm just taking the top part of the hat and I'm not cutting towards, you know, where the sewing is. You want this to stay intact you just want to cut off the side of it and i'm going to keep cutting till this whole piece is out now you see the top of the hat there's that um i don't know what it's called but it's a thing that stays on the top of the hat all right and i'm going to keep cutting around so i keep everything intact as i'm trying to make a mask out of a New Jersey Devils hat to support my favorite team, look a little stylish, but also contribute and do my part in the pandemic. Now, you should always stay at home. That's what they're telling you to do. And that's what I would do, stay at home. So let me go to second camera angle right now, just so you can see where I'm at so far. Just give me one sec here. So I'm going to just um, hold on a sec. Let me just cut in my computer. Here's the second angle. You see how I just cut that 
right now I cut most of the hat. Now I'm just going to cut around here. All right, to finish off cutting. So let me just go back here. Boy, it's it's tough producing a podcast by yourself with all the camera angles all over the place. So I'm going to cut the edge of the rim right here. Now, this is pretty good quality hat that MSG Plus gave out on the day of the Devil's Game. Don't know when, but I never thought I'd be sacrificing a hat. I've got so many hats. I got a Penn State hat. I got Mets hats. For all you Mets fans or out there, Penn State fans, look at this hat. Look at this Devil's hat. It's been sacrificed. This MSG Plus MSG Plus hat has been sacrificed as devil's hat. So now, look what I got right here. Ah. Ah, look at this. I got a little bit of a mask co covering my face. Here, I got to move the microphone a little bit. Show you a demonstration. So this was, came in front of the hat. It's not like that. Kind of covers the face. Now, there's two ways to do it. Again, I will look at uh, the CDC rules or rules or recommendations, but for me, I have an N95 mask. I'll try to put this over it just to give it a little style. To represent my team, the New Jersey Devils, three Stanley Cup champions, three times Stanley Cup champions. Should have been five, but we can argue that on the Let's Go Devils podcast. But now it's like, all right, how do you tie this on? Well, in the video that I watched, you take this, um, though this is going to be hard. I've never. Still haven't figured it out, but we're going to figure it out now. Let's try to thread this lace through, you know, with these little holes. A lot of these ball caps have these, like, little holes there. So we're going to see if I can actually do that. So here comes the hard part. I figured use um, this tip and see if I can just kind of snake it through that hole. Although the hole is a little bit too small for that lace to get through, just barely. So I'm going to try one thing. I'm going to try, remember I said to have a pen, see if I can make that hole just a tad bit better by just kind of like sticking that pen in that hole. You see, I got the pen right here. See if I could just make it a tad bit bigger. may have to rip it a little bit. You see right here, I have it on camera. Try to get that pen through just to make it just a little bit bigger. All right, see, now it's a little bit bigger, definitely bigger than uh, the other hole. And uh, snake this lace through. Voila! Ha ha! So I want to get the most out of this lace. So, and this is a long hockey skate lace so i'm going to try to get as much out of it so i'll probably go halfway through and then this is about halfway and then i'm going to cut it see in front of the in front of the that part of the hat in front that i just cut out i'm going to cut it right here see i'm going to cut it right there You know it's tough. It's tough cutting cloth or cutting anything because you're you're basically going to be changing the dynamics. All right, and I'm going to just tie a knot. Just going to tie a knot, just like that. All right, and then you see you have a knot tied right there, and then on the back. Probably want to cut maybe about a foot, foot in length. 
of the lace. All right, so now I got one lace through that hole, and I'm going to do the other hole. So I'm going to repeat the procedure. I'm going to take a pen, put it through that hole to make it bigger so I can snake that uh, skate lace through. All right. Here, I'm going to go second camera angle so you guys can take a look. Give me one second here. All right, let me just, uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. And let me change the camera angle. You see how I'm doing that? So I make, I make that hole bigger. Yep. See that with the pen? A little bit blurry so that's what i'm doing all right so and you see the inside of this lace i'm sorry the outside of this hat you got the lace right i'm sorry the sh shoelace skate lace over here you see how that works all right cool so i'm gonna change back camera angles back to me and on we go so this is real new jersey on the Let's Go Devils po podcast platform, simulcasting on primetime radio, all powered by Nova Product Design. So right now, we are making our favorite team mask. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. You remember, I snaked that through. I made the hole bigger. There we go. All right. So right when I get to about maybe about three inches to the end, the front of this would be mask. Gonna tie a knot so it doesn't go through. Let's tie a knot. Great. So now I got two knots in front lace. Now you want to pull that through. You see that? You pull that through. Now on the other side, you see you got one lace I had already cut before, and then here's the other lace. I'm gonna cut it right around the same spot. Right here. Now, I got myself a team mask. So I'm going to take off the headset real quick and uh, show you on the video feed what it looks like. You know, I just actually made a little mistake right there. Um, and again, this is the first time trying it. I made the laces too short because it's supposed to go around your head over the ear. So I think I'll do that again since I have the other half. I have, I still have the lace, and I should measure that better. So let's take this out, and let's try again. Let's try it again. Let's see if we can uh, do a better job. You should maybe make the length about eh, around this length, eh, about two and a half, three feet. That's what you should really do because I didn't make it long enough. So don't make the same mistake. And since this video is not going to be edited, if you made the mistake, well, if you follow directions, you can still use the other part of the lace. So doing this over again and I'm gonna take the other half do it again kind of embarrassing I thought I got it on the first try look good sounded good but didn't get there all right so we'll just keep the two ends of the laces there didn't plan it that way but all right Measure the same length. I'm going to cut it, tie it again. See, 
Even the pros like me make mistakes on live air. Yep. It happens. It happens. That's what you do in the show business. You improvise. So I made these laces longer, so I'm going to try to cover this over my mouth and see what happens. So I'm putting this thing on. It's hard to do it with the headset on, right? Hold on. Let me do it without the headset. As I'm trying to put this thing on, I'm going to put it on here or my mouth. Voila. See, I have my team mask. It's better than nothing. But let's see how it looks over my N95 mask because I think it's going to look pretty cool. So let me put on my N95 mask real quick. Putting on my mask. Here, I'll cough into it to see, show you how effective it is. <coughs> Stop spreading germs. Now you can put this mask <coughs> as a double layer protection over your N95 mask. And look how badass that looks. Huh? Look how badass that looks. Now I have my team favorite team mask, the New Jersey Devils on my N95 mask and now I can show everyone play it is safe and I am a New Jersey Devils fan with my team mask over my N95 mask yeah that looks pretty cool well I'm gonna cue up the music here that's how you make your favorite team mask looks awesome. Till next time, let's go double. Awesome.